Okay, next up, we are going to be determining the ion that forms for nitrogen after it has satisfied the octet rule. First things first, as always, we check our handy dandy periodic table, find nitrogen. There's my guy right there with an atomic number of seven. Beautiful. Let's redraw our nitrogen guy for reference. Knowing that nitrogen has an atomic number of seven, we know that there are seven electrons in its neutral state and also seven protons. So I can list those two right down here. Seven positives and seven negatives. Here's the nucleus and our first shell which only fits two electrons as always comes here. Our second shell which fits eight as do all the rest of them goes right there. I'm going to fill up the first shell with two electrons uno, dos, cross them out identify that I have one, two, three, four, five electrons left and fill the outer shell with those five electrons. Beautiful. Now that I have five here, I have to identify how to, <coughs> how to satisfy the octet rule. First things first, <coughs> how many electrons does nitrogen either need to gain or lose to satisfy the rule? It has five total on the outside, five valence electrons, indicating that I have to lose five or gain one, two, three more to be satisfied. Given that I'm gaining three electrons, one, two, three, this number of seven is now turning into ten. Ten minus. Indicating that I have seven pluses, ten minuses, meaning that the ion that nitrogen will turn into will be a three minus. Oops, excuse me. That's a terrible three. Let me redraw that for you. Nitrogen three minus. And that is our ion. I hope this helped.